Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Let's continue with our Nortleboard run. It has actually been a while since I've played this, and I might be a little out of practice, but Nortleboard as it is at a pretty good stage to reacquaint himself with the tactics and strategies of Dungeon Crawl. Uh, looks like we have all the air utility spells with the added benefit of lightning bolts. And Fallen and Prism, did I train hexes? I, I did a little bit. Fighting's up, dodging's up to 10. Spellcasting conjurations, okay. It looks like... It looks like I've done a pretty decent job with what I've had to work with. And just to double check... Well, first of all, let's kill these frogs. Oh, that lightning bolt missed them. Let's get a battle sphere up. Oh! That's not good. We just got curared. Well, the obvious first step is to take out the Spriggan. Let's do that. We just got curared again. Okay, the Spriggan's down. Now we're going to have to cure out of this. And now we're surrounded by blink frogs, which isn't necessarily a good thing. These fellows are going to be pretty difficult to line up, but I think I'll go with my Mystic Blast, which actually missed, apparently. And hope for some collateral damage with the explosion, and there we go. Let's rest up. Oh, there's a green rat. Oh, there's a hydra. Okay, lightning bolt took care of the hydra, and there's another evil spriggan, so let's immediately kill him. And now his summons. I'm really just concerned about the black mamba. There we go. I think I'll stop fighting when it gets up to 10 and we'll start to train armor even though we're not actually wearing any. Let's use Mystic Blast for a little while. And speaking of which, it might be a good idea to do the Elven Halls for a little bit, or to do the Orcish Blinds, get down to the Elven Halls and get some armor. It looks like I've been in this forest already. And apparently it's chock full of spriggans. I don't much care for spriggans. As you may have noticed I've never I've never played one. Ooh, you've gotta die. Lightning Bolt is surprisingly effective when it actually hits. And I might be able to actually pick up a buckler here from one of the Spriggans. Unfortunately they are not elven bucklers. Oh, I hate these druids. Okay. Uh, let's get a battle sphere up and see if we can get them all in a line to Lightning Bolt them. Beautiful. I'm not sure if I killed the Spriggan Druid there or not. One can hope. Okay, let's back up a little bit. And that was pretty effective. As much as I dislike Lightning Bolt, well, it's starting to sell itself to me a little bit. And there's another Spriggan Druid. See if we can zap him. There we go. I think we got him with a double zap there. And let's hope for a little treasure in this Spriggan area. I think we may have picked up a book there. I don't remember having three books. <coughs> oh yes, I think we did. I believe in the last video I was considering um, Mephitic Cloud 
as well as Bolt of Cold, but Bolt of Cold is going to put me firmly on the cold path. And I still haven't forgotten what happened to Zoot. I might start a little forest fire here, just to see what's in the trees. If um, I choose an elemental path, well obviously in, in this case being a high elf it will have to be a, a choice between fire and uh, and cold. Or air. Actually I might stick with air, I've never actually used any of the higher tier air spells. But then again my intention is to actually win this game. That was a saber of distortion. I was lucky he didn't abyss me there. Oh, shiny buckler. Let's just pick that up, shall we? Let's try it on. A buckler of protection is certainly something worth training. So we're actually going to turn off fighting, put on shields, and turn off spellcasting, and actually focus on shields until it gets up to level 5. Let's see if this forest fire has revealed anything interesting. Yeah, it looks like there's nothing in those trees. I didn't really expect there to be, but it's kind of fun to burn down the forests. Alright, um, have I actually found the Orcish Mines? Interesting, I have not. In that case... I almost really feel like sticking with the higher tier air spells here. Chain lightning looks fairly interesting. It's not quite castable yet. Um, and what makes it all the less castable is I'm not actually training air magic at the moment. But let's get the shields up before we do anything because I like this buckler. Oh, we have a vampiric scimitar. Oh, that's right. I think I used a, uh, a branding scroll last video and uh, changed my scimitar from electrical to vampiric, which wasn't the best trade-off as far as I'm concerned. But I believe I have more long swords upstairs. Um, let's just do a little search. There's that good old plutonium sword. Elven long sword of draining on D7. Well, apparently I don't have any long swords. We'll have to pick one up in the um, in the good old elven halls when we get there. Until then, it's time to kill some sheep. Uh, that fellow kind of crept up on me, but luckily my battle sphere was around to take him out. game seems a little laggy at the moment. I wonder what my computer's doing. Okay, one more lightning bolt should take them out. And also call everything in the dungeon down on me. There we go. Luckily there wasn't too much remaining on this floor. Hmm. I haven't been much in the mood to play games for the last week or so. And when I have been, I've been reoccupying myself with Minecraft. Uh, with mods, of course. 
playing the newest of the Feed the Beast pack. Well, that didn't quite do it, did it? Uh oh. And me out of mana and out of Battle Sphere. We'll have to revert back to Magic Dart. There we go. Just enough mana. Let's go back upstairs and heal up in the forest here. Oh, another book, a book of death. That's a necromancy book. I'm not even going to bother entertaining the thought of it. Actually, just take a look. No. Sublimation of blood is worth considering, but it is a very good spell. However, it does add the annoyance of wielding chunks and Um, it just adds a number of keystrokes that I'd rather not press. Unfortunately, Crawl has really ruined me for a lot of other roguelikes. Um, a roguelike without auto-explorer is incredibly painful as far as I'm concerned. We're going to have to go upstairs and uh, get rid of some of these books. And my computer is lagging a little bit. I think it's because I'm uh, updating a blockchain here and synchronizing. Uh, give me a moment and let me turn that. Okay, let's see if that helped at all. Let's head up to the lair. Um, well, I mean, let's head up to the stash. Um, let's actually activate Dungeon Crawlstone Soup. There we go. Up to the stash. Yeah, that's uh, that was certainly lagging my computer. And I think that means that it's fairly close to the time where I'll have to buy a new computer. This one is, uh, uh, I think it's nearing three years old now. My, the time passes very quickly these days. Looks like we have an unidentified ring and no identify scrolls. Interesting. Okay. I might as well drop off these enchant weapon scrolls while we're here. A mm, couple scrolls of fear. We don't need four. We have three scrolls of blinking. Uh, we'll drop two of the fogs. And um, one, two of the remove curse. I might as well drop some of the food as well. We're carrying around nine bread rations. That's a little excessive. Um, especially since we're in the lair and there's plenty of food in here. So let's just drop it all. We have some decent wands we don't need at the moment, the wand of slowing. So let's drop that. And we have one dart of flame that is probably not worth carrying around anymore. Also plenty of rings. Let's, uh, rings in this game weigh a surprising amount. We might as well drop more or less all of them. Why am I wearing that ring of protection from cold? There's not much cold in the lair, but we'll keep it on for now. Okay, let's just finish off the lair and uh, we'll go, go and try and find the Orcish Mines. So our shield is 3.9, so we have... Uh, a little bit of a ways to go before we can turn that off. Once it gets to five, I'll be happy to turn it off. Is the level completed yet? Yes. Okay, it looks like we're on the final level of the lair. We find a staff. What manner of staff be it? Uh, yes. Energy? Well, I think everything's hungerless anyway. It's probably one of my least favorite staffs, although it is, I suppose, useful in all occasions. Uh, and I will I'll be unable to wield the scimitar again. Yeah. Okay, let's stick with the staff for now. I'm not training swords anyway. And I have no skill in that area as yet. That's level 4 for shields. We're almost there. Hmm. 
Looks like lightning bolt time. I'm not sure if those fellows are resistant to lightning. Let's find out, shall we? Very resistant to electricity. All right. Well, then it's going to be Mystic Blast. And that took care of him. Strange disturbance, they say. Here we go. Um, we'll bounce a lightning bolt back on him. Him as well. And that made short work of him. Uh, is this one of those worm vaults? Yes. How did I know? I'll target the brain worms first. Um, I killed at least one of them. Much care for these worms. Killing them quickly, quickly and effectively is a high priority of mine. There's a boulder beetle coming after me as well. I might have to go upstairs and replenish some mana here. I think I will. And let's leave the worm vault and choose another staircase to descend. I might want to get rid of Searing Ray and perhaps Fulminant Prism. I had actually forgotten I had Fulminant Prism or else I would have dropped one into the Worm Vault. Here's a longsword, let's wield that. We'll go on a bit of a uh, Battlesphere Frenzy here. Shields up to 4.2, that's it's climbing a little slowly for some reason. I don't quite recognize this this bottom layer of the um, of the layer here. I don't think I've been to this vault before. At first appearance it looks pretty watery. But that's okay because I can fly and we're going to activate flight now and probably swiftness just to be safe. Get them all in a row and lightning bolt them. There we go. Oh, there are quite a lot of them. Death Yaks. Okay, we are swift. We are flying. Let's uh, see if we can get ahead of them. We have not enough mana to pull one up, so we'll back off. When you see Death Yaks and you're low on mana, it's usually a good idea to retreat. Okay, let's uh, put on Flight and Swiftness. Take care of this Riff Raff here. And go visit our Death Yak friends. There they are see how they fare against a couple of lightning bolts. I'll try and line them up. Excellent. And their shields at level 5. I killed at least one death yak. We will turn that off. There's no sense in training armor unless we have some. Spellcasting conjurations and fighting can always go up. We have enough probably to cast about three more lightning bolts. And we are still swift. So there's not cause for alarm yet, although that leading death yak is not taking a lot of damage. One more shot and then we're going to have to retreat. Oh, I could have changed to wands, but there is no sense in risking my life. We'll just add a few turns to the dungeon run. <clears throat> and I've never been interested in doing a speed run or a... Uh, I forgot what you call them. The uh, runs where you try to use as little turns as possible. I think just winning a game is uh, a priority enough at this point.
here are the remaining worms from the worm felt coming out. Amulet of Clarity, I already have one. Some normal yaks that will soon be lightning bolted. Uh, lightning bolt is fairly reliable. I'd rather have bolt of fire. <clears throat> Although I think bolt of fire is not a quiet spell either. There we go, fighting's up at level 10. And that nets us only a measly 91 hit points, which is still not great. But there's nothing in the lair that can one-shot us for 91 pit points hit points. Unfortunately we have the um, shoals to deal with at some point. To that end luckily we do have um, flight and swiftness available. Ow. Okay boulder beetle. Let's get some mana back. Ooh, that reminds me. Yes, what are we training? Fighting? Might be time to stop that for a while and train up invocations. Let's check out this new book. Orb of Destruction. That is always worth getting. Now, what kind of book is this with one spell in it? Oh, it has three, but we have two of them. And this is where the Staff of Energy might come in handy. The orb is a little bit of a hungry spell. But we can use it sparingly. This will prove to be very useful if we run into Sif Muna. Oh, not Sif Muna. Uh, Saint Roca. In the Orcish Lair. The Orcish Mines. You can tell it's been a while since I played this. And I think it's actually improved my play as far as I'm concerned. Uh, let's put on the Ring of Poison Resistance um, for long enough to get a little snack here. Might as well keep it on. Poison is going to be uh, more of a concern than cold. Uh, no repel missiles. Fly and swift, and let's uh, cruise out over the water here. This is an interesting lower level of the lair. Uh, we'll rest here on this little island. There's got to be a treasure vault around here somewhere. It's been a fairly easy lair from what I recall, actually. Been fairly light on the death yaks. No gastronoc. I don't think we even have a hat, do we? Yes, the random number god has been not generous with hats, but I'm not complaining. Ah, uh, there's the end vault. Okay. Um, black bear, nothing to worry about. Grizzly bear, not that much more to worry about. Our balasphere is nice and powerful here. It really is a pleasure to use. Um, Let's get a lightning bolt in there. We can hit two of them. And start backing off. Of course, it would be better if we had swiftness on, uh, which we will activate right now. Stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with this death yak, which probably wasn't a good idea, though he didn't manage to hurt me. And that's why we train dodging, although our evasion is only at 19, which is not fantastic. It certainly could go up. 
Where did my battle sphere go? The thing has the habit of disappearing at just the right time. Okay, let's back off. And a mystic glass to finish him off. Another mystic glass, please. Let's see if we can get a troll hide out of him. And we did. And that answers my uh, my regeneration issue there. Do we have an enchant armor scroll? No. I can't believe we don't have enchant armor. Oh, we have four of them. Okay. Well, it might be a good time to get that armor on. Let's finish up the bottom of the uh, the vaults here, or the the layer here, and we'll continue training. on oh, a dire elephant! Excellent. Go away, dire elephant. Uh, we'll continue training our invocations. We will go up and enchant the armor, and then switch over to armor training. I think at the moment I'm only going to put one level of of enchant into it. One glaive. This glaive might be ch worth checking out, even though I don't think my pull arm skill is in any way good. Yeah, minus two. Nevertheless, it is too tempting not to wield this glaive. Oh, I can't wield it with a shield. Let's take off the shield of protection and just see what this glaive can do for us. Mm, venom resist cold. All right, it might be a plus something incredible, but it's better not to find out so I don't pine over it. We'll just drop it there. We are a caster after all. If we pick up a weapon, it will be a longsword. Oh, go away, elephant. There's most likely more elephants up here. Yes, there are. Yeah, if we find a uh, an artifact longsword, that would be perfect. Let's get our intelligence up. What else is there to raise? We're back up to 37, this time without the ring. If we put on that ring of... We'll be at 41 intelligence if we put on that ring of int that we found earlier. Which is excellent. Oh, we're starving. Eat one of the meat rations. Have a little party for a job well done. We've cleared the lair. More or less. A couple of green rat stragglers hanging around. And, uh, well, a few frogs. Nothing much to worry about. An alligator. Another spiny frog. Okay, is that it? They just keep coming. Some sheep. Unfortunately, not much in the way of good treasure here. What's actually our sling skill here? I don't think it's very good. Sling... Uh, minus two. Yes, it would be. it will be bows if we pick up anything, but... We are not an arcane marksman. Uh, let's go back to the stash. And stash this book. I would really like to identify some of those potions. We have one identify scroll. Of course we have rings that must be identified. Mm. There's probably some nice potions in there. Let's identify the ring though. Sustenance. I think we will only put one enchant into this armor. I could enchant it up a little more. Let's put on the troll hide first. Let's uh, take a look at our spell failure rates. 1% for orb of destruction. Well, 
Even if it gets worse than that, it's not going to be too bad. Wow, that's a nice cloak. I forgot I had that. Um, now the buckler of protection. Let's drop the robe of cold resistance. We have a ring that will do the same job. Let's test where this unknown ring. Mm, we don't know. As for now, in the Orcish Mines, I don't think we're going to run into any cold, so let's... Nor poison, truth be told. Um, nevertheless, it's probably better to be on the safe side and put on the uh, protection from cold. There could be some uh, cold enchanted crossbows and that sort of thing. Invocations is at 3.8. We want to start getting armor up. Hmm. Let's do this, shall we? Let's focus on invocations and armor, and uh, we'll just leave spellcasting and conjurations at the uh, lower rate of experience gain. Okay, I think it's a good time to cut the video now. Next time we will see you in the Orcish Mines. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.